The impact of the power, the impact of the authority is not designed to just be for a show. It's to demonstrate how God is in glory. And when we see a challenge, you will see that impact coming to force. Actually, the power and authority the Lord had imparted us is to make us to be like him and to reflect his image. God does not need to come down here. We are here to handle things for him. God allows some things to happen for a reason. And if anything happened to you, don't see it as the means to make you cry. See it as a means to make you a show of all that God is. You'll be described by reason of what will happen to you. By reason of the impact of the power of God on your life. You will get that description. Indeed, this is a servant of God. In the name of Jesus. In power. Why we are Christians having confessed Jesus as Lord and Savior and we release everything about our life is to make for his glory to form his strength and cloud around us to handle any challenge that may want to come our way to harass us as if we are not his. And when you walk in God's presence it makes it possible for us to have intimate relationship with God. Now, this intimate relationship makes it possible for the judgment of the wicked world. That means another point to it is where we walk with the Lord. And there are challenges like it happened to Paul. When the challenge comes, it brings the possibility of the God you carry that is in your, in your life, its presence in your life to bring about vengeance, to bring about judgment against the wicked world. The work of the cross has given us power to tread upon lion and adder and to trample under our feet the works of the cross has given us power and authority to tread upon lion and adder and to trample under our feet every risk, every deadly thing. The thing we carry eh, is very sure. Eh? It's no will we are only is the one at work in us who to win and to do of his good pleasure. What do we need to do? You don't need to fret. All you need to do in the confidence of his word, declare, oh, see, and the peace, peace. Jesus has been given power and authority to go to all the world and Jesus had enriched us with that power. One, I declare today, from today, you will not be touched by the evil one. I say, I will not be touched by the evil one in the name of Jesus. Let us always release his authority and stop your fears from today. We must take authority. Go about doing good for God is with you, brethren. His presence confirms his power. His presence confirms his authority. And when you walk in his presence, everything about life becomes sweet. And no weapon, no instrument of destruction will become effective to you. If only you walk in his presence. His presence could swallow fire. Could, could stop lion. Could stop dead sea. Could stop the word of Jericho could pull down Goliath. His presence, his presence over your life 
whatsoever that stand to represent any of these things, they stand to fall. I didn't hear your amen. I said, they stand to fall. I said, they will fall in the name of Jesus. Jesus.